there is a disagreement, a fight between the husband and the wife, this is a solution to the situation and the scenario. How should be it handled by the Qawam and the husband? Allah is guiding and instructing. Now, to understand the whole concept, first of all, I would want to make the meaning of nushus clear. Because until unless you clearly comprehend what is meant by the women's nushus, nushus ahunna, what does it mean and imply, you will not be able to understand the whole uh, message. And in fact, we might be one of them to misinterpret and we might misunderstand the whole concept. So by nishus, we mean it is a condition of arrogance. Nishus is a condition of arrogance where a person in full obstinacy and stubbornness leads to severe disobedience. I repeat again for you to make it more clear. Nishus is a condition of arrogance, obstinacy and stubbornness leading to severe disobedience. Now what is this? The condition is, the state of affairs is that when the husband is telling the wife, the ordering, instructing the wife something right, according to the principles of Quran and Hadith and within the Hadood of Quran and Hadith, and she is disobeying. The stance of the husband is correct and right, but out of sheer obstinacy and stubbornness, in full arrogance the wife is refusing to obey now how is the husband the kavam supposed to deal with it i actually feel that this is the test of his nerves he was made the kavam because he had strong emotions he had strong nerves and here are his nerves being tested. The first thing which is allowed and he is being instructed to do is Farizuhunna. Wow Ain Zwad means what? It means to advise, to counsel with love, affection, kindness, gently, politely, lovingly, making somebody understand a thing logically, cons convincingly. Now, the first thing is that if she's not agreeing and she's not obeying then he needs to advise her in all this format and I tell you putting my hands on my heart and you put your hands on your heart 30 to 40 percent of the women will abide and will they will obey when the husband deals her like that now if she still doesn't do that and she still doesn't obey then and she sticks to her disobedience then the next thing is that you separate your beds from them or you forsake them in the beds. And uh, this is being done. You walk out of their bedrooms and you make them sleep separately and you separate your beds. This is just being suggested and it is being done because we know that men are emotionally strong. Women is women are emotionally labile. They're temperamental. They're weak. They get stressed out faster as compared to men. It's just a fight of wills, you know. Since the man happens to be stronger emotionally, he is being instructed. They just walk out on him. But this he's supposed to keep within the limits of the house. It the matter of the issue of the house will not go outside. And nobody other than the husband and a wife are supposed to be aware of the whole setup. Now, this is like the husband is trying to convey that he's angry, he's annoyed, he's unhappy, he's sad, and he is uh, not on talking terms with the wife. And believe you me, the next about 40-50% of the wives will comply and will obey with this all. But now, if she is still disobedient and her disobedience is persisting, the last method which the husband is asked to resort is wadribuhunna, hit her. Now, this allowing the husband to hit the wife is again, it again raises a lot of hues and cries. And the defaming techniques, na'uzubillah, against Islam, that Islam oppresses the women. It is allowing the husband to beat her, to hit her, to physically abuse her. So we need to understand the situation. She's being stubborn. She would just not comply and accept. And you know, if she persists her behavior, he might just, just get sick of it. The matter might just end up in a divorce. The house will break. The marriage will break. 
she is being and she is just acting foolishly she is not realizing that the boy might, the wand might break she just needs someone to give her a good dose to prevent the serious repercussions that is why to save the house to save the family to save the marriage the permission to hit or beat is being given and the limit and the manner of hitting has been strictly limited by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam i just narrated a hadith last day that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that if any husband has to hit the wife he should not hit her on the face he should not hit her as if to leave a mass a mark of hitting on her body he is supposed to hit her gently so it is not a matter of oppression it is not hitting hard or hurting her it is not a permission of physical abuse this is no permission for her or for the husband to be hitting to be hurting to be torturing to be persecuting to be cutting her nose to be dragging her on the roads to be throwing her out of the house no it is what it is just a gentle and a mild jolting it is just a mild jolting to just make her realize the absurdness of her attitude and behavior just to save her marriage this is just to give her to give her a wake up call it's it's just like saying hello hello act rational and save your family and then allah says that in either or of all either of all these options if because of all these they start obeying you once more then seek by no means against them that is if she has agreed to what you are saying then you have no permission to go on hitting her you are not allowed to be to went off your anger you cannot take revenge you cannot lose self control it is what it is just a limited a titrated a self controlled method of punishment and i feel it is a very heavy emotional trial for the husband who has been made as the kawam and the caretaker